Hi, my name is Martha Zink and I'm with Salian Consulting and this is another video in Delve into FileMaker 12. Now here I'm going to focus on container fields and I'm actually going to talk about the ability to store data externally. So I'm going to use the expense report database as my example, but we really are going to focus on more of the structure of the system. So let's jump into the manage database. And in this file I had a, a help table that basically stored videos, PDFs, images, and so on. So there's a, a container field called media. And if I double click on it to look at the options, on the storage tab we have something that's new to FileMaker 12. And that's the ab ability to store container data externally. Now before we were actually either embedding the data right into our file or we were linking to it through some file path. But now we can actually, FileMaker will actually create the link for us and keep track of how the media moves and how the media changes. So if I click store container data externally, it's going to choose a location for me here, and I have the ability to store the data securely or open. If it's secure, it's actually going to give me some gibberish for the folder structure so that it's not obvious to a user what's going on. It's actually going to be encrypted. If I choose open storage, it's actually going to let me be more specific as to how I want the hierarchy to work. So here I'm giving it a folder structure where it's going to have a help folder and then a media folder. The interesting thing is that this external storage is actually specific per container field. So that if you have a, a small container field that's storing just a thumbnail of an image, something that's going to be really lightweight on the system, you could always keep that embedded in your file and have other bigger container fields stored elsewhere. So there's some flexibility there. Now I'm going to click OK. Now you'll notice that initially my data had my database had the container data stored in the file so it was embedded. Well because I changed the settings FileMaker is going to ask me if I want to go ahead and convert what I already had. So it's actually going to take those embedded files, take them out of FileMaker and put them in the right structure in the folder in the folder structure. I'll go ahead and click transfer. So it's transferred three different container field files and I'm going to click OK and let's look at the hierarchy there. So the expense report folder on my desktop is where this expense report file is stored and you'll see that here's the hierarchy that we just built. So help, media, and then there are the files that were stored in those container fields. Now if I were to change the file and change it back so that I had the data embedded into my file, I would get the same transfer pop-up so that if you have your data stored externally and you want to embed it, you can do that as well. Now keep in mind that if you have your database on a server, this will work. However, you are required to, serve, to save your data in the same location where your file is being served. What that means is you can't actually say that your container fields are going to be saved on a remote drive, for example. I think this is a huge improvement to FileMaker 12. There were some issues in, in previous versions where files were getting too big because files were embedded or links were broken because files were moved by users. So I think that this is going to be a great way to really take advantage of container fields. Uh, if, please leave some comments. Let me know if you'll be able to use this in your solution or how you're using it. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks.